act one of the mikado or the town of titipu a solo recitation this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by david wales the mikado or the town of titipu a solo recitation by w s gilbert act one the mikado or the town of titipu by william s gilbert music by sir arthur sullivan dramatis personae the mikado of japan nankipu his son disguised as a wandering minstrel and in love with yum yum koko lord high executioner of titipu Puba, lord high everything else pishtish a noble lord three sisters wards of koko yum yum pity sing peep bo katisha an elderly lady in love with nanki poo chorus of schoolgirls nobles guards and coolies act one courtyard of koko's official residence act two koko's garden first produced at the savoy theatre on march fourteenth eighteen eighty five act one scene courtyard of koko's palace in titipu japanese nobles discovered standing and sitting in attitudes suggested by native drawings chorus of nobles if you want to know who we are we are gentlemen of japan on many a vase and jar on many a screen and fan we figure in lively paint our attitudes queer and quaint you're wrong if you think it ain't oh if you think we are worked by strings like a japanese marionette you don't understand these things it is simply court etiquette perhaps you suppose this throng can't keep it up all day long if that's your idea you're wrong oh enter nanki poo in great excitement he carries a native guitar on his back and a bundle of ballads in his hand recitative nanki poo gentlemen i pray you tell me where a gentle maiden dwelleth named yum yum the ward of koko in pity speak oh speak i pray you a noble why who are you who asks this question nanki poo come gather round me and i'll tell you song and chorus nanki poo a wandering minstrel i a thing of shreds and patches of ballads songs and snatches and dreamy lullaby my catalogue is long through every passion ranging and to your humours changing i tune my supple song are you in sentimental mood i'll sigh with you oh sorrow sorrow on maiden's coldness do you brood i'll do so too oh sorrow sorrow i'll charm your willing ears with songs of lovers fears while sympathetic tears my cheeks bedew oh sorrow sorrow but if patriotic sentiment is wanted i've patriotic ballads cut and dried for where'er our country's banner may be planted all other local banners are defied our warriors in serried ranks assembled never quail or they conceal it if they do and i shouldn't be surprised if nations trembled before the mighty troops of titipu chorus we shouldn't be surprised if nations trembled before the mighty troops of titipu nanki poo and if you call for a song of the sea we'll heave the capstan round with a yo heave ho for the wind is free her anchor's a trip and her helm's a lee hurrah for the homeward bound chorus yo ho heave ho hurrah for the homeward bound to lay aloft in a howling breeze may tickle a landsman's taste but the happiest hour a sailor sees is when he's down at an inland town with his nancy on his knees yo ho and his arm around her waist chorus then man the capstan off we go as the fiddler swings us round with a yo he ho and a rum below hurrah for the homeward bound a wandering minstrel i etc etc enter pishtish pishtish and what may be your business with yum yum nanki poo i'll tell you a year ago i was a member of the titipu town band 
it was my duty to take the cap round for contributions while discharging this delicate office i saw yum yum we loved each other at once but she was betrothed to her guardian coco a cheap tailor and i saw that my suit was hopeless overwhelmed with despair i quitted the town judge of my delight when i heard a month ago that coco had been condemned to death for flirting i hurried back at once in the hope of finding yum yum at liberty to listen to my protestations pishtish it is true that coco was condemned to death for flirting but he was reprieved at the last moment and raised to the exalted rank of lord high executioner under the following remarkable circumstances song pishtish and chorus our great mikado virtuous man when he to rule our land began resolved to try a plan whereby young men might best be steadied so he decreed in word succinct that all who flirted leered or winked unless connubially linked should forthwith be beheaded and i expect you'll all agree that he was right to so decree and i am right and you are right and all is right as right can be chorus and you are right and we are right etc this stern decree you'll understand caused great dismay throughout the land for young and old and shy and bold were equally affected the youth who winked a roving eye or breathed a non connubial sigh was thereupon condemned to die he usually objected and you'll allow as i expect that he was right to so object and i am right and you are right and everything is quite correct chorus and you are right and we are right etc and so we straight let out on bail a convict from the county jail whose head was next on some pretext condemned to be mown off and made him headsman for we said who's next to be decapited cannot cut off another's head unless he's cut his own off and we are right i think you'll say to argue in this kind of way and i am right and you are right and all is right to lure array chorus and you are right and we are right etc exeunt chorus enter Puba, nanki poo coco the cheap tailor lord high executioner of titipu why that's the highest rank a citizen can obtain Puba, it is our logical mikado seeing no moral difference between the dignified judge who condemns a criminal to die and the industrious mechanic who carries out the sentence has rolled the two offices into one and every judge is now his own executioner thank you Pooh. but how good of you for i see that you are a nobleman of the highest rank to condescend to tell all this to me a mere strolling minstrel Pooba, oh don't mention it i am in point of fact a particularly haughty and exclusive person of pre-adamite ancestral descent you will understand this when i tell you that i trace my ancestry back to a protoplasmal primordial atomic globule consequently my family pride is something inconceivable i can't help it i was born sneering but i struggle hard to overcome this defect i mortify my pride continually when all the great officers of state resigned in a body because they were too proud to serve under an ex-tailor did i not unhesitatingly accept all their posts at once pishtish and the salaries attached to them you did Puba, it is consequently my degrading duty to serve this upstart as first lord of the treasury lord chief justice commander-in-chief lord high admiral master of the buckhounds groom of the back stairs archbishop of titipu and lord mayor both acting and elect all rolled into one and at a salary a Puba paid for his services i a salaried minion but i do it it revolts me but i do it nanki poo and it does you credit Pooba, but i don't stop at that i go and dine with middle-class people on reasonable terms i dance at cheap suburban parties for a moderate fee i accept refreshment at any hands however lowly 
i also retail state secrets at a very low figure for instance any further information about yum yum would come under the head of a state secret nanki poo takes his hint and gives him money aside another insult and i think a light one song Poo with nanki poo and pish tish young man despair likewise go to yum yum the fair you must not woo it will not do i'm sorry for you you very imperfect ablutioner this very day from school yum yum will wend her way and homeward come with beat of drum and a rum tum tum to wed the lord high executioner and the brass will crash and the trumpets bray and they'll cut a dash on their wedding day she'll toddle away as all of her with a lord high executioner nanki poo and poo bah and the brass will crash etc it's a hopeless case as you may see and in your place away i'd flee but don't blame me i'm sorry to be of your pleasure a diminutioner they'll vow they're packed extremely soon in point of fact this afternoon her honeymoon with that buffoon at seven commences so you shun her all and the brass will crash etc exit pish tush recitative nanki poo and poo bah nanki poo and i have journeyed for a month or nearly to learn that yum yum whom i love so dearly this day to coco is to be united Poo-bah. the fact appears to be as you've recited but here he comes equipped as suits his station he'll give you any further information exeunt Poo-bah and nanki poo enter chorus of nobles behold the lord high executioner a personage of noble rank and title a dignified and potent officer whose functions are particularly vital defer defer to the lord high executioner enter coco attended solo coco taken from the county jail by a set of curious chances liberated then on bail on my own recognizances wafted by a favouring gale as one sometimes is in trances to a height that few can scale save by long and weary dances surely never had a male under such like circumstances so adventurous a tale which may rank with most romances chorus defer defer to the lord high executioner etc coco gentlemen i'm much touched by this reception i can only trust that by strict attention to duty i shall ensure a continuance of those favours which it will ever be my study to deserve if i should ever be called upon to act professionally i am happy to think that there will be no difficulty in finding plenty of people whose loss will be a distinct gain to society at large song coco with chorus of men as some day it may happen that a victim must be found i've got a little list i've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground and who never would be missed who never would be missed there's the pestilential nuisances who write for autographs all people who have flabby hands and irritating laughs all children who are up on dates and floor you with em flat all persons who in shaking hands shake hands with you like that and all third persons who on spoiling tete tates insist they'd none of them be missed they'd none of em be missed chorus he's got em on the list he's got em on the list and they'd none of em be missed they'd none of them be missed there's the banjo serenader and the others of his race and the piano organist i've got him on the list and the people who eat peppermint and puff it in your face they never would be missed they never would be missed then the idiot who praises with enthusiastic tone all centuries but this and every country but his own and the lady from the provinces who dresses like a guy and who doesn't think she waltzes but would rather like to try and that singular anomaly the lady novelist i don't think she'd be missed i'm sure she'd not be missed chorus he's got her on the list he's got her on the list and i don't think she'd be missed i'm sure she'd not be missed and that nisi prius nuisance who just now is rather rife the judicial humorist i've got him on the list all funny fellows comic men and clowns of private life 
they none of em be missed they'd none of em be missed and apologetic statesmen of a compromising kind such as uh, what do you call em uh, thingamabob and uh, likewise never mind and sit 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 and uh, what's his name and also you know who the task of filling up the blanks i'd rather leave to you but it really doesn't matter whom you put upon the list for they'd none of em be missed they'd none of em be missed chorus you may put them on the list you may put em on the list and they'd none of em be missed they'd none of em be missed enter pooh bah coco pooh bah it seems that the festivities in connection with my approaching marriage must last a week i should like to do it handsomely and i want to consult you as to the amount i ought to spend upon them pooh bah certainly in which of my capacities as first lord of the treasury lord chamberlain attorney-general chancellor of the exchequer privy purse or private secretary coco suppose we say as a private secretary Poobah. speaking as your private secretary i should say that as the city will have to pay for it don't stint yourself do it well coco exactly as the city will have to pay for it that is your advice Poobah. as private secretary of course you will understand that as chancellor of the exchequer i am bound to see that due economy is observed coco oh but you said just now don't stint yourself do it well Puba, as private secretary coco and now you say that due economy must be observed Puba, as chancellor of the exchequer coco i see come over here where the chancellor can't hear us they cross the stage now as my solicitor how do you advise me to deal with this difficulty Puba, oh as your solicitor i should have no hesitation in saying chance it coco thank you shaking his hand i will Puba, if it were not that as lord chief justice i am bound to see that the law isn't violated coco i see come over here where the chief justice can't hear us they cross the stage now then as first lord of the treasury Poobah. of course as first lord of the treasury i could propose a special vote that would cover all expenses if it were not that as leader of the opposition it would be my duty to resist it tooth and nail or as paymaster-general i could so cook the accounts that as lord high auditor i should never discover the fraud but then as archbishop of titipu it would be my duty to denounce my dishonesty and give myself into my own custody as first commissioner of police coco that's extremely awkward Puba, i don't say that all these distinguished people couldn't be squared but it is right to tell you that they wouldn't be sufficiently degraded in their own estimation unless they were insulted with a very considerable bribe coco the matter shall have my careful consideration but my bride and her sisters approach and any little compliment on your part such as an abject grovel in a characteristic japanese attitude would be esteemed a favour Puba, no money no grovel exeunt together enter procession of yum yum schoolfellows heralding yum yum peep bo and pity sing chorus of girls comes a train of little ladies from scholastic trammels free each a little bit afraid is wondering what the world can be is it but a world of trouble sadness set to song is its beauties but a bubble bound to break ere long are its palaces and pleasures fantasies that fade and the glory of its treasures shadow of a shade schoolgirls we eighteen and under from scholastic trammels free and we wonder how we wonder what on earth the world can be trio yum yum peep bo and pity sing with chorus of girls the three three little maids from school are we pert as a schoolgirl well can be filled to the brim with girlish glee three little maids from school yum yum everything is a source of fun chuckle peep bo nobody's safe for we care for none chuckle pity sing life is a joke that's just begun chuckle the three three little maids from school 
all dancing three little maids who all unwary come from a lady's seminary freed from his genius tutelary the three suddenly demure three little maids from school yum yum one little maid is a bride yum yum peepbo two little maids in attendance come pity sing three little maids is a total sum the three three little maids from school yum yum from three little maids take one away peepbo two little maids remain and they pity sing won't have to wait very long they say the three three little maids from school all dancing three little maids who all unwary come from a lady's seminary freed from his genius tutelary the three suddenly demure three little maids from school enter coco and Pooba. coco at last my bride that is to be about to embrace her yum yum you're not going to kiss me before all these people coco well that was the idea yum yum aside to peepbo it seems odd doesn't it peepbo it's rather peculiar pity sing oh i expect it's all right must have a beginning you know yum yum well of course i know nothing about these things but i've no objection if it's usual coco oh it's quite usual i think eh lord chamberlain appealing to Pooba. Pooba, i have known it done coco embraces her yum yum oh, thank goodness that's over sees nanky poo and rushes to him why that's never you the three girls rush to him and shake his hands all speaking at once yum yum oh i'm so glad i haven't seen you for ever so long and i'm right at the top of the school and i've got three prizes and i've come home for good and i'm not going back any more peepbo and have you got an engagement yum yum's got one but she doesn't like it and she'd ever so much rather it was you i've come home for good and i'm not going back any more pity sing now tell us all the news because you go about everywhere and we've been at school but thank goodness that's all over now and we've come home for good and we're not going back any more these three speeches are spoken together in one breath coco i beg your pardon will you present me yum yum oh this is the musician who used peepbo oh this is the gentleman who used pity sing oh it is only nanky poo who used coco one at a time if you please yum yum oh if you please he's the gentleman who used to play so beautifully on the on the pity sing on the marine parade yum yum yes i think that was the name of the instrument nanky poo sir i have the misfortune to love your ward yum yum oh i know i deserve your anger coco anger not a bit my boy why i love her myself charming little girl isn't she pretty eyes nice hair taking little thing altogether very glad to hear my opinion backed by a competent authority thank you very much good-bye to pish tish take him away pish tish removes him pity sing who has been examining Bah, i beg your pardon but what is this customer come to try on coco that is a tremendous swell pity sing oh it's alive she starts back in alarm Pooba, go away little girls can't talk to little girls like you go away there's dears coco allow me to present you Pooba. these are my three wards the one in the middle is my bride elect Pooba, what do you want me to do to them mind i will not kiss them coco oh no 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 you shan't kiss them a, a little bow a, a mere nothing you needn't mean it you know Pooba, it goes against the grain they are not young ladies they are young persons coco come come make an effort there's a good nobleman Pooba, aside to coco well i shan't mean it with a great effort how de do little girls how de do aside oh my protoplasmal ancestor coco that's very good girls indulge in suppressed laughter Pooba i see nothing to laugh at it is very painful to me to have to say how de do little girls how de do to young persons i'm not in the habit of saying how de do little girls how de do to anybody under the rank of a stockbroker coco aside to girls don't laugh at him he can't help it he's under treatment for it aside to Pooba, never mind them they don't understand the delicacy of your position Pooba, we know how delicate it is don't we coco 
i should think we did how a nobleman of your importance can do it at all is a thing i never can never shall understand coco retires and goes off quartet and chorus of girls yum yum peep bo pity sing and pooh bah yum yum peep bo and pity sing so please you sir we much regret if we have failed in etiquette towards a man of rank so high we shall know better by and by yum yum but youth of course must have its fling so pardon us so pardon us pity sing and don't in girlhood's happy spring be hard on us be hard on us if we're inclined to dance and sing tra la 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 etc dancing chorus of girls but youth of course etc pooh think you ought to recollect you cannot show too much respect towards the highly titled few but nobody does and why should you that youth at us should have its fling is hard on us is hard on us to our prerogative we cling so pardon us so pardon us if we decline to dance and sing tra la 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 etc dancing chorus of girls but youth of course must have its fling etc exeunt all but yum yum enter nanki poo nanki poo yum yum at last we are alone i have sought you night and day for three weeks in the belief that your guardian was beheaded and i find that you are about to be married to him this afternoon yum yum alas yes nanki poo but you do not love him yum yum alas no nanki poo modified rapture but why do you not refuse him yum yum what good would that do he's my guardian and he wouldn't let me marry you nanki poo but i should wait until you were of age yum yum you forget that in japan girls do not arrive at years of discretion until they are fifty nanki poo true from seventeen to forty-nine are considered years of indiscretion yum yum besides a wandering minstrel who plays a wind instrument outside tea-houses is hardly a fitting husband for the ward of a lord high executioner nanki poo but aside shall i tell her yes she will not betray me aloud what if i should prove that after all i am no musician yum yum there i was certain of it directly i heard you play nanki poo what if i should prove that i am no other than the son of his majesty the mikado yum yum the son of the mikado but why is your highness disguised and what has your highness done and will your highness promise never to do it again nanki poo some years ago i had the misfortune to captivate katisha an elderly lady of my father's court she misconstrued my customary affability into expressions of affection and claimed me in marriage under my father's law my father the lucius junius brutus of his race ordered me to marry her within a week or perish ignominiously on the scaffold that night i fled his court and assuming the disguise of a second trombone i joined the band in which you found me when i had the happiness of seeing you approaching her yum yum retreating if you please i think your highness had better not come too near the laws against flirting are excessively severe nanki poo but we are quite alone and nobody can see us yum yum still that don't make it right to flirt is capital nanki poo it is capital yum yum and we must obey the law nanki poo deuce take the law yum yum i wish it would but it won't nanki poo if it were not for that how happy we might be yum yum happy indeed yankee poo if it were not for the law we should now be sitting side by side like that sits by her yum yum instead of being obliged to sit half a mile off like that crosses and sits at the other side of stage nanki poo we should be gazing into each other's eyes like that gazing at her sentimentally yum yum breathing sighs of unutterable love like that sighing and gazing lovingly at him nanki poo with our arms around each other's waists like that embracing her yum yum yes if it wasn't for the law nanki poo if it wasn't for the law yum yum as it is of course we couldn't do anything of the kind 
nanki poo not for worlds yum yum being engaged to coco you know nanki poo being engaged to coco duet yum yum and nanki poo nanki poo were you not to coco plighted i would say in tender tone loved one let us be united let us be each other's own i would merge all rank and station worldly sneers are not to us and to mark my admiration i would kiss you fondly thus kisses her both i would kiss you fondly thus he would kiss me fondly thus kiss yum yum but as i'm engaged to coco to embrace you thus confioco would distinctly be no giococo and for yam i should get toco both toco 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 nanki poo so in spite of all temptation such a theme i'll not discuss and on no consideration will i kiss you fondly thus kissing her let me make it clear to you this is what i'll never do this oh this oh this oh this kissing her together this oh this etc exeunt in opposite directions enter coco coco looking after yum yum there she goes to think how entirely my future happiness is wrapped up in that little parcel really it hardly seems worth while oh matrimony enter poobah and pishtish now then what is it can't you see i'm soliloquizing you have interrupted an apostrophe sir pishtish i am the bearer of a letter from his majesty the mikado coco taking it from him reverentially a letter from the mikado what in the world can he have to say to me reads letter ah here it is at last i thought it would come sooner or later the mikado is struck by the fact that no executions have taken place in titipu for a year and decrees that unless somebody is beheaded within one month the post of lord high executioner will be abolished and the city reduced to the rank of a village pish tish but that will involve us all in irretrievable ruin Coco, yes there is no help for it i shall have to execute somebody at once the only question is who shall it be poobah well it seems unkind to say so but as you're already under sentence of death for flirting everything seems to point to you Coco, to me what are you talking about i can't execute myself poobah why not Coco, why not because in the first place self-decapitation is an extremely difficult not to say dangerous thing to attempt and in the second it's suicide and suicide is a capital offence poobah that is so no doubt pishtish we might reserve that point poobah true it could be argued six months hence before the full court Coco, besides i don't see how a man can cut off his own head Poobah, a man might try pish tish even if you only succeeded in cutting it half off that would be something Poobah, it would be taken as an earnest of your desire to comply with the imperial will Coco, no pardon me but there i am adamant as official headsman my reputation is at stake and i can't consent to embark on a professional operation unless i see my way to a successful result Poobah, this professional conscientiousness is highly creditable to you but it places us in a very awkward position Coco, my good sir the awkwardness of your position is grace itself compared with that of a man engaged in the act of cutting off his own head pishtish i am afraid that unless you can obtain a substitute Coco, a substitute oh certainly nothing easier to poobah poobah i appoint you lord high substitute poobah i should be delighted such an appointment would realize my fondest dreams but no at any sacrifice i must set bounds to my insatiable ambition trio coco poobah pishtish coco my brain it teems with endless schemes both good and new for titipu but if i flit the benefit that i'll diffuse the town would lose now every man to aid his clan should plot and plan as best he can and so i'm ready to go yet recollect twere disrespect did i neglect to this effect this aim direct so i object so i object 
pooh i am so proud if i allowed my family pride to be my guide i'd volunteer to quit this sphere instead of you in a minute or two but family pride must be denied and set aside and mortified and go although i wish to go and greatly pine to brightly shine and take the line of a hero fine with grief condign i must decline i must decline i must decline pish tish i heard one day a gentleman say that criminals who are cut in two can hardly feel the fatal steel and so are slain without much pain if this is true it's jolly for you to bid us adieu and show both friend and foe how much you dare i'm quite aware it's your affair yet i declare i'd take your share but i don't much care i don't much care i don't much care all to sit in solemn silence in a dull dark dock in a pestilential prison with a life-long lock awaiting the sensation of a short sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block exeunt poobah and pishtish koko this is simply appalling i who allowed myself to be respited at the last moment simply in order to benefit my native town am now required to die within a month and that by a man whom i have loaded with honours is this public gratitude is this enter nanky poo with a rope in his hands go away sir how dare you am i never to be permitted to soliloquise nanky poo oh go on don't mind me koko what are you going to do with that rope nanky poo i am going to terminate an unendurable existence koko terminate your existence oh nonsense what for nanky poo because you are going to marry the girl i adore koko nonsense sir i won't permit it i am a humane man and if you attempt anything of the kind i shall order your instant arrest come sir desist at once or i summon my guard nanky poo that's absurd if you attempt to raise an alarm i instantly perform the happy dispatch with this dagger koko no no don't do that this is horrible suddenly why you cold-blooded scoundrel are you aware that in taking your life you are committing a crime which 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 is oh struck by an idea substitute nanky poo what's the matter koko is it absolutely certain that you are resolved to die nanky poo absolutely koko will nothing shake your resolution nanky poo nothing koko threats entreaties prayers all useless nanky poo all my mind is made up koko then if you really mean what you say and if you are absolutely resolved to die and if nothing whatever will shake your determination don't spoil yourself by committing suicide but be beheaded handsomely at the hands of the public executioner nanky poo i don't see how that will benefit me koko you don't observe you'll have a month to live and you'll live like a fighting cock at my expense when the day comes there'll be a grand public ceremonial you'll be the central figure no one will attempt to deprive you of that distinction there'll be a procession bands dead march bells tolling all the girls in tears yum yum distracted then when it's all over general rejoicings and a display of fireworks in the evening you won't see them but they'll be there all the same nanky poo do you think yum yum would really be distracted at my death koko i am convinced of it bless you she's the most tender-hearted little creature alive nanky poo i should be sorry to cause her pain perhaps after all if i were to withdraw from japan and travel in europe for a couple of years i might contrive to forget her koko oh i don't think you could forget yum yum so easily and after all what is more miserable than a love blighted life nanky poo true koko life without yum yum why it seems absurd nanky poo and yet there are a good many people in the world who have to endure it koko poor devils yes you are quite right not to be of their number nanky poo suddenly i won't be of their number koko noble fellow nanky poo i'll tell you how we'll manage it let me marry yum yum to-morrow and in a month you may behead me koko no no i draw the line at yum yum nanky poo if you can draw the line so can i preparing rope koko stop stop 
listen one moment be reasonable how can i consent to your marrying yum yum if i'm going to marry her myself nanky poo my good friend she'll be a widow in a month and you can marry her then ko ko that's true of course i quite see that but dear me my position during the next month will be most unpleasant most unpleasant nanky poo not half so unpleasant as my position at the end of it ko ko but dear me well i agree after all it's only putting off my wedding for a month but you won't prejudice her against me will you you see i've educated her to be my wife she's been taught to regard me as a wise and good man now i wouldn't like her views on that point disturbed nanky poo trust me she shall never learn the truth from me finale enter chorus Bah, and pishtish chorus with aspect stern and gloomy stride we come to learn how you decide don't hesitate your choice to name a dreadful fate you'll suffer all the same Puba, to ask you what you mean to do we punctually appear ko ko congratulate me gentlemen i found a volunteer all the japanese equivalent for here 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 ko ko presenting him tis nanky poo all hail nanky poo ko ko i think he'll do all yes yes he'll do ko ko he yields his life if i'll yum yum surrender now i adore that girl with passion tender and could not yield her with a ready will or her a lot if i did not adore myself with passion tenderer still enter yum yum peep bo and pity sing all ah yes he loves himself with passion tenderer still ko ko to nanky poo take her she's yours exit ko ko ensemble nanky poo the threatened cloud has passed away yum yum and brightly shines the dawning day nanky poo what though the night may come too soon yum yum there's yet a month of afternoon nanky poo poo ba yum yum pity sing and peep bo then let the throng our joy advance with laughing song and merry dance chorus with joyous shout and ringing cheer inaugurate our brief career pity sing a day a week a month a year yum yum o oh, far or near or oh, far or near pooba life's even time comes much too soon pity sing you'll live at least a honeymoon all then let the throng etc chorus with joyous shout etc solo pooba as in a month you've got to die if coco tells us true twere empty compliments to cry long life to nanky poo but as one month you have to live as fellow-citizen this toast with three times three will give long life to you till then exit Puba. chorus may all good fortune prosper you may you have health and riches too may you succeed in all you do long life to you till then dance enter katisha melodramatically katisha your revel cease assist me all of you chorus why who is this whose evil eyes rain blight on our festivities katisha i claim my perjured lover nanky poo o oh, fool to shun delights that never cloy chorus go leave thy deadly work undone katisha come back o oh, shallow fool come back to joy chorus away away ill-favoured one nanky poo aside to yum yum ah tis katisha the maid of whom i told you about to go katisha detaining him no you shall not go these arms shall thus enfold you song katisha addressing nanky poo o oh, fool that fleest my hallowed joys o oh, blind that seest no equipoise o oh, rash that judges from half the whole o oh, base thou grudgest love's lightest dole thy heart unbind o oh, fool o oh, blind give me my place o oh, rash o oh, base chorus if she's thy bride restore her place o fool o blind o rash o base katisha addressing yum yum pink cheek that rulest where wisdom serves bright eye that foolest heroic nerves rose lip that scornest lore-laden years smooth tongue that warnest who rightly hears thy doom is nigh pink cheek bright eye thy knell is rung rose lip smooth tongue chorus if true her tale thy knell is rung pink cheek bright eye rose lip smooth tongue p 
pity sing away nor prosecute your quest from our intention well expressed you cannot turn us the state of your connubial views towards the person you accuse does not concern us for he's going to marry yum yum all yum yum pity sing your anger pray bury for all will be merry i think you had better succumb all come come pity sing and join our expressions of glee on this subject i pray you be dumb all dum dum pity sing you'll find there are many who wed for a penny the word for your guidance is mum all mum mum pity sing uh, there's lots of good fish in the sea all on this subject we pray you be dumb etc solo katisha the hour of gladness is dead and gone in silent sadness i live alone the hope i cherished all lifeless lies and all has perished save love which never dies o faithless one this insult you shall rue in vain for mercy on your knees you'll sue i'll tear the mask from your disguising nanki poo aside now comes the blow katisha prepare yourselves for news surprising nanki poo aside how foil my foe katisha no minstrel he despite bravado yum yum aside struck by an idea ha ha i know katisha he is the son of your nanki poo yum yum and chorus interrupting sing japanese words to drown her voice o ni bikuru shakuru to katisha in vain you interrupt with this tornado he is the only son of your all o ni bikuru shakuru to katisha i'll spoil all o ni bikuru shakuru to katisha your gay gambato he is the son all o ni bikuru shakuru to katisha of your all o nikiru shakuru to katisha the son of your all o nikiru shakuru ay 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 ensemble katisha and the others katisha ye torrents roar ye tempests howl your wrath outpour with angry growl do ye your worst my vengeance shall rise triumphant over all prepare for woe ye haughty lords and once i go mikado wards my wrongs with vengeance shall be crowned my wrongs with vengeance shall be crowned the others will hear no more ill omened owl to joy we soar despite your scowl the echoes of our festival call shall rise triumphant over all away you go collect your hordes proclaim your woe in dismal chords we do not heed their dismal sound for joy reigns everywhere around katisha rushes furiously up stage clearing the crowd away right and left finishing on steps at the back of stage end of act one Act Two of the Mikado or the Town of Titipu, a solo recitation by W. S. Gilbert. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Act Two. Scene: Coco's Garden. Yum Yum discovered seated at her bridal toilette, surrounded by maidens who are dressing her hair and painting her face and lips, as she judges of the effect in a mirror. Solo pity sing and chorus of girls chorus braid the raven hair weave the supple tress deck the maiden fair in her loveliness paint the pretty face dye the coral lip emphasize the grace of her ladyship art and nature thus allied go to make a pretty bride solo pity sing sit with downcast eye let it brim with dew try if you can cry we will do so too when you're summoned start like a frightened roe flutter little heart colour come and go modesty at marriage tide well becomes a pretty bride chorus braid the raven hair etc exeunt pity sing peep bow and chorus yum yum yes i am indeed beautiful sometimes i sit and wonder in my artless japanese way why it is that i am so much more attractive than anybody else in the whole world can this be vanity no nature is lovely and rejoices in her loveliness i am a child of nature and take after my mother song yum yum the sun whose rays are all ablaze with ever-living glory does not deny his majesty he scorns to tell a story 
he don't exclaim i blush for shame so kindly be indulgent but fierce and bold in fiery gold he glories effulgent i mean to rule the earth as he the sky we really know our worth the sun and i observe his flame that placid dame the moon's celestial highness there's not a trace upon her face of diffidence or shyness she borrows light that through the night mankind may all acclaim her and truth to tell she lights up well so i for one don't blame her ah pray make no mistake we are not shy we're very wide awake the moon and i enter pity sing and peep bo yum yum yes everything seems to smile upon me i am to be married to-day to the man i love best and i believe i am the very happiest girl in japan peep bo the happiest girl indeed for she is indeed to be envied who has attained happiness in all but perfection yum yum in uh, all but perfection peep bo well dear it can't be denied that the fact that your husband is to be beheaded in a month is in its way a drawback it does seem to take the top off it you know pity sing i don't know about that it all depends peep bo at all events he will find it a drawback pity sing not necessarily bless you it all depends yum yum in tears i think it very indelicate of you to refer to such a subject on such a day if my married happiness is to be to be people cut short yum yum well cut short in a month can't you let me forget it weeping enter nanki poo followed by pishtish nanki poo yum yum in tears and on her wedding morn yum yum sobbing they've been reminding me that in a month you're to be beheaded bursts into tears pity sing yes we've been reminding her that you're to be beheaded bursts into tears peep bo it's quite true you know you are to be beheaded bursts into tears nanki poo aside hm now some bridegrooms would be depressed by this sort of thing aloud a month well what's a month bah these divisions of time are purely arbitrary who says twenty-four hours make a day pity sing well there's a popular impression to that effect nanki poo then we'll efface it we'll call each second a minute each minute an hour each hour a day and each day a year at that rate we've about thirty years of married happiness before us peep bo and at that rate this interview has already lasted four hours and three quarters exit peep bo yum yum still sobbing yes how time flies when one is thoroughly enjoying oneself nanki poo that's the way to look at it don't let's be downhearted there's a silver lining to every cloud yum yum certainly let's let's be perfectly happy almost in tears pish tish by all means let's let's thoroughly enjoy ourselves pity sing it's it's absurd to cry trying to force a laugh yum yum quite ridiculous trying to laugh all break forth into a forced and melancholy laugh madrigal yum yum pity sing nanki poo and pish tish brightly dawns our wedding day joyous hour we give thee greeting whither whither art thou fleeting fickle moment prithee stay what though mortal joys be hollow pleasures come if sorrows follow though the tocsin sound ere long ding dong ding dong yet until the shadows fall over one and over all sing a merry madrigal a madrigal fa la 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 fa la 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 etc ending in tears let us dry the ready tear though the hours are surely creeping little need for woeful weeping till the sad sundown is near all must sip the cup of sorrow i to-day and thou to-morrow this the close of every song ding dong ding dong what though solemn shadows fall sooner or later over all sing a merry madrigal a madrigal fa la 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 etc 
ending in tears exeunt pity sing and pish tish nanky poo embraces yum yum enter coco nanky poo releases yum yum coco go go on don't mind me nanky poo i'm afraid we're distressing you coco never mind i must get used to it only please do it by degrees begin by putting your arm around her waist nanky poo does so there let me get used to that first yum yum oh wouldn't you like to retire it must pain you to see us so affectionate together coco no i must learn to bear it now oblige me by allowing her head to rest on your shoulder nanky poo like that he does so coco much affected coco i am much obliged to you now kiss her he does so coco writhes in anguish thank you it's simple torture yum yum come come bear up after all it's only for a month coco no it's no use deluding oneself with false hopes nanky poo and yum yum what do you mean coco to yum yum my child my poor child aside how shall i break it to her aloud my little bride that was to have been yum yum delighted was to have been coco yes you never can be mine nanky poo and yum yum simultaneously in ecstasy what i'm so glad coco i've just ascertained that by the mikado's law when a married man is beheaded his wife is buried alive nanky poo and yum yum buried alive coco buried alive it's a most unpleasant death nanky poo but whom did you get that from coco oh from Pooba. he's my solicitor yum yum but he may be mistaken coco so i thought so i consulted the attorney-general the lord chief justice the master of the rolls the judge ordinary and the lord chancellor they're all of the same opinion never knew such unanimity in a point of law in my life nanky poo but stop a bit this law has never been put in force coco not yet you see flirting is the only crime punishable with decapitation and married men never flirt nanky poo oh, of course they don't i quite forgot that well i suppose i may take it that my dream of happiness is at an end yum yum darling I, I, I don't want to appear selfish and i love you with all my heart i don't suppose i shall ever love anybody else half as much but when i agreed to marry you my own i, I had no idea pet that i should have to be buried alive in a month nanky poo nor i it's the very first i've heard of it yum yum it it makes a difference doesn't it nanky poo it does make a difference of course yum yum you see burial alive is such a stuffy death nanky poo i call it a beast of a death yum yum you see my difficulty don't you nanky poo yes and i see my own if i insist on your carrying out your promise i doom you to a hideous death if i release you you marry coco at once trio yum yum nanky poo and coco yum yum here's a howdy do if i marry you when your time has come to perish then the maiden whom you cherish must be slaughtered too here's a howdy do nanky poo here's a pretty mess in a month or less i must die without a wedding let the bitter tears i'm shedding witness my distress here's a pretty mess coco here's a state of things to her life she clings matrimonial devotion doesn't seem to suit her notion burial it brings here's a state of things ensemble yum yum and nanky poo and coco yum yum and nanky poo with a passion that's intense i worship and adore but the laws of common sense we oughtn't to ignore if what he says is true tis death to marry you here's a pretty state of things here's a pretty howdy do coco 
with a passion that's intense you worship and adore but the laws of common sense you oughtn't to ignore if what i say is true tis death to marry you here's a pretty state of things here's a pretty how de do exit yum yum Coco going up to nanki poo my poor boy i'm really very sorry for you nanki poo thanks old fellow i'm sure you are Coco, you see i'm quite helpless nanki poo i quite see that Coco, i can't conceive anything more distressing than to have one's marriage broken off at the last moment but you shan't be disappointed of a wedding you shall come to mine nanki poo it's awfully kind of you but that's impossible Coco, why so nanki poo to-day i die Coco, what do you mean nanki poo i can't live without yum yum this afternoon i perform the happy dispatch Coco, no no pardon me i can't allow that nanki poo why not Coco, why hang it all you're under contract to die by the hand of the public executioner in a month's time if you kill yourself what's to become of me why i shall have to be executed in your place nanki poo it would certainly seem so enter poo Coco, now then lord mayor what is it Pooba, the mikado and his suite are approaching the city and will be here in ten minutes Coco, the mikado he's coming to see whether his orders have been carried out to nanki poo now look here you know this is getting serious a bargain's a bargain and you really mustn't frustrate the ends of justice by committing suicide as a man of honour and a gentleman you are bound to die ignominiously by the hands of the public executioner nanki poo very well then behead me Coco, what now nanki poo certainly at once poo chop it off chop it off Coco, my good sir i don't go about prepared to execute gentlemen at a moment's notice why i never even killed a blue bottle Poo still as lord high executioner Coco, my good sir as lord high executioner i've got to behead him in a month i'm not ready yet i don't know how it's done i'm going to take lessons i mean to begin with a guinea pig and work my way through the animal kingdom till i come to a second trombone why you don't suppose that as a humane man i'd have accepted the post of lord high executioner if i hadn't thought the duties were purely nominal i can't kill you i can't kill anything i can't kill anybody weeps nanki poo come my poor fellow we all have unpleasant duties to discharge at times after all what is it if i don't mind why should you remember sooner or later it must be done Coco, springing up suddenly must it i'm not so sure about that nanki poo what do you mean Coco, why should i kill you when making an affidavit that you've been executed will do just as well here are plenty of witnesses the lord chief justice lord high admiral commander-in-chief secretary of state for the home department first lord of the treasury and chief commissioner of police nanki poo but where are they Coco, there they are they'll all swear to it won't you to Pooba. Pooba, am i to understand that all of us high officers of state are required to perjure ourselves to ensure your safety Coco, why not you'll be grossly insulted as usual Pooba, will the insult be cash down or at a date Coco, it will be a ready money transaction Pooba aside well it will be a useful discipline aloud very good choose your fiction and i'll endorse it aside ha ha family pride how do you like that my buck nanki poo but i tell you that life without yum yum Coco, oh yum 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 bother yum yum here commissionaire to Pooba, go and fetch yum yum exit Pooba take yum yum and marry yum yum only go away and never come back again enter Pooba with yum yum here she is yum yum are you particularly busy yum yum not particularly Coco, you've five minutes to spare yum yum yes Coco, then go along with his grace the archbishop of titipu he'll marry you at once 
yum yum but if i'm to be buried alive Coco. now don't ask any questions but do as i tell you and nanky poo will explain all nanky poo but one moment Coco. not for worlds here comes the mikado no doubt to ascertain whether i've obeyed his decree and if he finds you alive i shall have the greatest difficulty in persuading him that i've beheaded you exeunt nanky poo and yum yum followed by pooh-bah close thing that for here he comes exit coco march enter procession heralding mikado with katisha entrance of mikado and katisha march of the mikado troops chorus mia sama mia sama omnam semnya nomeni para para siru nawa nangiyani poko tako dargi duet mikado and katisha mikado from every kind of man obedience i expect i'm the emperor of japan katisha and i'm his daughter-in-law elect he'll marry his son he's only got one to his daughter-in-law elect mikado my morals have been declared particularly correct katisha but they're nothing at all compared with those of his daughter-in-law elect bow bow to his daughter-in-law elect all bow bow to his daughter-in-law elect mikado in a fatherly kind of way i govern each tribe and sect all cheerfully own my sway katisha except his daughter-in-law elect as tough as a bone with a will of her own is his daughter-in-law elect mikado my nature is love and light my freedom from all defect katisha is insignificant quite compared with his daughter-in-law elect bow bow to his daughter-in-law elect all bow bow to his daughter-in-law elect song mikado and chorus a more humane mikado never did in japan exist to nobody second i'm certainly reckoned a true philanthropist it is my very humane endeavour to make to some extent each evil liver a running river of harmless merriment my object all sublime i shall achieve in time to let the punishment fit the crime the punishment fit the crime and make each prisoner pent unwillingly represent a source of innocent merriment of innocent merriment all prosy dull society sinners who chatter and bleat and bore are sent to hear sermons from mystical germans who preach from ten till four the amateur tenor whose vocal villainies all desire to shirk shall during off hours exhibit his powers to madame tussaud's wax-work the lady who dyes a chemical yellow or stains her grey hair puce or pinches her figure is painted with vigour with permanent walnut juice the idiot who in railway carriages scribbles on window panes we only suffer to ride on a buffer in the parliamentary trains my object all sublime etc chorus his object all sublime etc the advertising quack who wearies with tales of countless cures his teeth i've enacted shall all be extracted by terrified amateurs the music-hall singer attends a series of masses and fugues and ops by bach interwoven with spore and beethoven at classical monday pops the billiard sharp who any one catches his doom extremely hard he's made to dwell in a dungeon cell on a spot that's always barred and there he plays extravagant matches in fitless finger stalls on a cloth untrue with a twisted cue and elliptical billiard balls my object all sublime etc chorus his object all sublime etc enter Puba, coco and pity sing all kneel Puba hands a paper to coco coco i am honoured in being permitted to welcome your majesty i guess the object of your majesty's visit your wishes have been attended to the execution has taken place mikado oh you've had an execution have you coco yes the coroner has just handed me his certificate Puba, i am the coroner coco hand certificate to mikado mikado and this is the certificate of his death reads at 
titipu in the presence of the lord chancellor lord chief justice attorney-general secretary of state for the home department lord mayor and groom of the second floor front Poobah, they were all present your majesty i counted them myself mikado very good house i wish i'd been in time for the performance Coco, a tough fellow he was too a man of gigantic strength his struggles were terrific it was a remarkable scene mikado describe it trio and chorus Coco, pity sing poo and chorus Coco, the criminal cried as he dropped him down in a state of wild alarm with a frightful frantic fearful frown i bared my big right arm i seized him by his little pigtail and on his knees fell he as he squirmed and struggled and gurgled and guggled i drew my snickersnee oh never shall i forget the cry or the shriek that shrieked he as i gnashed my teeth when from its sheath i drew my snickersnee chorus we know him well he cannot tell untrue or groundless tales he always tries to utter lies and every time he fails pity sing he shivered and shook as he gave the sign for the stroke he didn't deserve when all of a sudden his eye met mine and it seemed to brace his nerve for he nodded his head and kissed his hand and he whistled an air did he as the sabre true cut cleanly through his cervical vertebrae when a man's afraid a beautiful maid is a cheering sight to see and it's oh i'm glad that moment sad was soothed by sight of me chorus her terrible tale you can't assail with truth it quite agrees her taste exact for faultless fact amounts to a disease Pooba, now though you've had said that head was dead for its owner dead was he it stood on its neck with a smile well bred and bowed three times to me it was none of your impudent off-hand nods but as humble as could be for it clearly knew the deference due to a man of pedigree and its oh i vow this deathly bow was a touching sight to see though trunkless yet it couldn't forget the deference due to me chorus this haughty youth he speaks the truth whenever he finds it pays and in this case it all took place exactly as he says exeunt chorus mikado all this is very interesting and i should like to have seen it but we came about a totally different matter a year ago my son the heir to the throne of japan bolted from our imperial court Coco, indeed had he any reason to be dissatisfied with his position katisha none whatever on the contrary i was going to marry him yet he fled Poo-bah i am surprised that he should have fled from one so lovely katisha that's not true Puba, no katisha you hold that i am not beautiful because my face is plain but you know nothing you are still unenlightened learn then that it is not in the face alone that beauty is to be sought my face is unattractive Puba, it is Katisha, but i have a left shoulder blade that is a miracle of loveliness people come miles to see it my right elbow has a fascination that few can resist Puba, allow me Katisha, it is on view tuesdays and fridays on presentation of visiting card as for my circulation it is the largest in the world Coco, and yet he fled Mikado, and is now masquerading in this town disguised as a second trombone Coco, Puba, and pity sing a second trombone Mikado, yes would it be troubling you too much if i asked you to produce him he goes by the name of katisha nanki poo Mikado, nanki poo Coco, oh it's quite easy that is it's rather difficult in point of fact he's gone abroad Mikado, gone abroad his address Coco, knightsbridge katisha who is reading certificate of death ha ah! Mikado, what's the matter katisha see here his name nanki poo beheaded this morning oh where shall i find another where shall i find another 
Ko Ko, Pooh Bah, and Pitti Sing fall on their knees. Mikado, looking at paper, dear, 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 this is very tiresome. To Ko Ko, my poor fellow, in your anxiety to carry out my wishes, you have beheaded the heir to the throne of Japan. Ko Ko, oh, I beg to offer an unqualified apology. Pooh Bah, I desire to associate myself with that expression of regret pity sing we really hadn't the least notion mikado of course you hadn't how could you come come my good fellow don't distress yourself it was no fault of yours if a man of exalted rank chooses to disguise himself as a second trombone he must take the consequences it really distresses me to see you take on so i've no doubt he thoroughly deserved all he got they rise Coco, we are infinitely obliged to your majesty Pitti Sing, much obliged, your majesty. Pooba, very much obliged, your majesty. Mikado, obliged, not a bit. Don't mention it. How could you tell? Pooba, no, of course we couldn't tell who the gentleman really was. Pitti Sing, it wasn't written on his forehead, you know. Coco, it might have been on his pocket handkerchief, but Japanese don't use pocket handkerchiefs. Ha ha ha. Mikado, ha ha ha. To Katisha i forget the punishment for compassing the death of the heir apparent koko Pooba, and pitti sing punishment they drop down on their knees again mikado yes uh, something lingering with boiling oil in it i fancy something of that sort i think boiling oil occurs in it but i'm not sure i know it's something humorous but lingering with either boiling oil or melted lead come come don't fret i'm not a bit angry Coco, in abject terror if your majesty will accept our assurance we had no idea mikado of course pitti sing i knew nothing about it Pooba, i wasn't there mikado that's the pathetic part of it unfortunately the fool of an act says compassing the death of the heir apparent there's not a word about a mistake Coco, pitti sing and Pooba, no mikado or not knowing koko no mikado or having no notion pitti sing no mikado or not being there Pooba, no mikado there should be of course koko pitti sing and Pooba, yes mikado but there isn't koko pitti sing and Pooba, oh mikado that's the slovenly way in which these acts are always drawn however cheer up it'll be all right i'll have it altered next session now let's get about your execution will after luncheon suit you can you wait till then koko pitti sing and Pooba. oh yes uh, we can wait till then mikado then we'll make it after luncheon Pooba, i don't want any lunch mikado i'm really very sorry for you all but it's an unjust world and virtue is triumphant only in theatrical performances glee Pitti sing Katisha Koko Pupa and Mikado. Mikado, see how the fates their gifts allot, for A is happy, B is not. Yet B is worthy, I dare say, of more prosperity than A. Koko Pupa and Pitti sing, is B more worthy? Katisha, I should say he's worth a great deal more than A. Ensemble, yet A is happy, oh so happy, laughing, ha 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 chaffing ha ha nectar quaffing ha 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 ever joyous ever gay happy undeserving a koko pooba and pitti sing if i were fortune which i'm not b would enjoy a's happy lot and a should die in misery that is assuming i am b mikado and katisha but should a perish koko pooba and pitti sing that should be of course assuming i am b b should be happy oh so happy laughing ha ha chaffing ha ha nectar quaffing ha 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 but condemned to die is he wretched meritorious b exeunt mikado and katisha koko well a nice mess you've got us into with your nodding head and the deference due to a man of pedigree Pupa merely cooperative detail intended to give artistic verisimilitude to an otherwise bald and unconvincing narrative pitti sing cooperative detail indeed cooperative fiddlestick koko and you're just as bad as he with your 
cock a bull stories about catching his eye and his whistling an air but that's so like you you must put in your oar Pooba, but how about your big right arm pity sing yes and your snicker snee Coco, well well never mind that now there's only one thing to be done nanky poo hasn't started yet he must come to life again at once enter nanky poo and yum yum prepared for journey here he comes here nanky poo i've got good news for you you're reprieved nanky poo oh but it's too late i'm a dead man and i'm off for my honeymoon Coco, nonsense a terrible thing has just happened it seems you're the son of the mikado nanky poo yes but that happened some time ago Coco, is this a time for airy persiflage your father is here and with katisha nanky poo my father and with katisha Coco, yes he wants you particularly Pooba, so does she yum yum oh but he's married now Coco, but bless my heart what has that to do with it nanky poo katisha claims me in marriage but i can't marry her because i'm married already consequently she will insist on my execution and if i'm executed my wife will have to be buried alive yum yum you see our difficulty Coco, yes i don't know what's to be done nanky poo there's one chance for you if you could persuade katisha to marry you she would have no further claim on me and in that case i could come to life without any fear of being put to death Coco, i marry katisha yum yum i really think it's the only course Coco, but my good girl have you seen her she's something appalling pity sing ah uh, that's only her face she has a left elbow which people come miles to see Pooba, i am told that her right heel is much admired by connoisseurs Coco, my good sir i decline to pin my heart upon any lady's right heel nanky poo it comes to this while katisha is single i prefer to be a disembodied spirit when katisha is married existence will be as welcome as the flowers in spring duet nanky poo and Coco, with yum yum pity sing and poo bah nanky poo the flowers that bloom in the spring tra la breathe promise of merry sunshine as we merrily dance and we sing tra la we welcome the hope that they bring tra la of a summer of roses and wine and that's what we mean when we say that a thing is welcome as flowers that bloom in the spring tra la 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 etc all tra la 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 etc Coco, the flowers that bloom in the spring tra la have nothing to do with the case i've got to take under my wing tra la a most unattractive old thing tra la with a caricature of a face and that's what i mean when i say or i sing oh bother the flowers that bloom in the spring tra la 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 etc all tra la 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 tra la 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 etc dance and exeunt nanky poo yum yum poo bah pity sing and coco enter katisha recitative and song katisha alone and yet alive o oh, sepulchre my soul is still my body's prisoner remote the peace that death alone can give my doom to wait my punishment to live song hearts do not break they sting and ache for old love's sake but do not die though with each breath they long for death as witnesses the living eye o oh, living eye come tell me why when hope is gone dost thou stay on why linger here where all is drear o oh, living eye come tell me why when hope is gone dost thou stay on may not a cheated maiden die Coco, entering and approaching her timidly uh, katisha katisha the miscreant who robbed me of my love but vengeance pursues they are heating the cauldron Coco, katisha behold a suppliant at your feet katisha mercy katisha mercy had you mercy on him see here you you have slain my love he did not love me but he would have loved me in time i am an acquired taste only the educated palate can appreciate me i was educating his palate when he left me well he is dead and where shall i find another 
it takes years to train a man to love me am i to go through the weary round again and at the same time implore mercy for you who robbed me of my prey uh, i mean my pupil just as his education was on the point of completion oh where shall i find another coco suddenly and with great vehemence here here katisha what coco with intense passion katisha for years i have loved you with a white-hot passion that is slowly but surely consuming my very vitals ah shrink not from me if there is aught of woman's mercy in your heart turn not away from a lovesick suppliant whose every fibre thrills at your tiniest touch true it is that under a poor mask of disgust i have endeavoured to conceal a passion whose inner fires are broiling the soul within me but the fire will not be smothered it defies all attempts at extinction and breaking forth all the more eagerly for its long restraint it declares itself in words that will not be weighed that cannot be schooled that should not be too severely criticised katisha i dare not hope for your love but i will not live without it darling katisha you whose hands still reek with the blood of my betrothed dare to address words of passion to the woman you have so foully wronged coco i do accept my love or i perish on the spot katisha go to who knows so well as i that no one ever yet died of a broken heart coco you know not what you say listen song coco on a tree by a river a little tom tit sang willow tit willow tit willow and i said to him dicky bird why do you sit singing willow tit willow tit willow is it weakness of intellect birdie i cried or a rather tough worm in your little inside with a shake of his poor little head he replied o oh, willow tit willow tit willow he slapped at his chest as he sat on that bough singing willow tit willow tit willow and a cold perspiration bespangled his brow oh willow tit willow tit willow he sobbed and he sighed and a gurgle he gave then he plunged himself into the billowy wave and an echo arose from the suicide's grave oh willow tit willow tit willow now i feel just as sure as i'm sure that my name isn't willow titwillow titwillow that twas blighted affection that made him exclaim oh willow titwillow titwillow and if you remain callous and obdurate i shall perish as he did and you will know why though i probably shall not exclaim as i die oh willow titwillow titwillow during this song katisha has been greatly affected and at the end is almost in tears katisha whimpering did he really die of love coco he really did katisha all on account of a cruel little hen coco yes katisha poor little chap coco it's an affecting tale and quite true i knew the bird intimately katisha did you he must have been very fond of her coco his devotion was something extraordinary katisha still whimpering poor little chap and and if i refuse you you will go and do the same coco at once katisha no no you you mustn't anything but that falls on his breast oh i'm a silly little goose coco making a wry face oh you are katisha and you won't hate me because i'm just a little teeny weeny wee bit bloodthirsty will you coco hate you oh katisha is there not beauty even in bloodthirstiness katisha my idea exactly duet katisha and coco katisha there is beauty in the bellow of the blast there is grandeur in the growling of the gale there is eloquent outpouring when the lion is a-roaring and the tiger is a-lashing of his tail coco yes i like to see a tiger from the congo or the niger and especially when lashing of his tail katisha volcanoes have a splendour that is grim and earthquakes only terrify the dolts but to him who's scientific there's nothing that's terrific in the falling of a flight of thunderbolts 
coco yes in spite of all my meekness if i have a little weakness it's a passion for a flight of thunderbolts both if that is so sing derry down derry it's evident very our tastes are one away we'll go and merrily marry nor tardily tarry till day is done coco there is beauty in extreme old age do you fancy you are elderly enough information i'm requesting on a subject interesting is a maiden all the better when she's tough Katisha. throughout this wide dominion it's the general opinion that she'll last a good deal longer when she's tough Coco are you old enough to marry do you think won't you wait till you are eighty in the shade there's a fascination frantic in a ruin that's romantic do you think you are sufficiently decayed Katisha, to the matter that you mention i have given some attention and i think i am sufficiently decayed both if that is so sing derry down derry it's evident very our tastes are one away we'll go and merrily marry nor tardily tarry till day is done exeunt together flourish enter the mikado attended by pish-tish and court mikado now then we've had a capital lunch and we're quite ready have all the painful preparations been made pish-tish your majesty all is prepared mikado then produce the unfortunate gentleman and his two well-meaning but misguided accomplices enter koko katisha Puba, and pitty sing they throw themselves at the mikado's feet katisha mercy mercy for koko mercy for pitty sing mercy even for Puba mikado i beg your pardon i don't think i quite caught that remark Puba, mercy even for Puba. katisha mercy my husband that was to have been is dead and i have just married this miserable object mikado oh you've not been long about it koko we were married before the registrar Puba, i am the registrar mikado i see but my difficulty is that as you have slain the heir apparent enter nanki poo and yum yum they kneel nanki poo the heir apparent is not slain mikado bless my heart my son yum yum and your daughter-in-law elected katisha seizing koko traitor you have deceived me mikado yes you are entitled to a little explanation but i think he will give it better whole than in pieces koko your majesty it's like this it is true that i stated that i had killed nanki poo mikado yes with most affecting particulars Puba, merely cooperative detail intended to give artistic verisimilitude to a bald and koko will you refrain from putting in your oar to mikado it's like this when your majesty says let a thing be done it's as good as done practically it is done because your majesty will is law your majesty says kill a gentleman and a gentleman is told off to be killed consequently that gentleman is as good as dead practically he is dead and if he is dead why not say so mikado i see nothing could possibly be more satisfactory finale pity sing for he's gone and married yum yum all yum yum pity sing your anger pray bury for all will be merry i think you had better succumb all come come pity sing and join our expressions of glee koko on this subject i pray you be dumb all dumb dumb koko your notions though many are not worth a penny the word for your guidance is mum all mum mum koko you've a very good bargain in me all on this subject we pray you be dumb dum dum we think you had better succumb come come you'll find there are many who'll wed for a penny there are lots of good fish in the sea yum yum and nanki poo the threatened cloud has passed away and brightly shines the dawning day what though the night may come too soon we've years and years of afternoon all then let the throng our joy advance with laughing song and merry dance with joyous shout and ringing cheer inaugurate our new career then let the throng etc curtain end of act two end of the mikado by w s gilbert